right guys so what we got here it's um let me see right here we got a gonna it won't start they're just making noise put a switch you hear the click you hear that sounds like a battery but it's not so let me bring this thing down I'm gonna move my stuff out of the way so you can hear the clicking noise. I already removed the thing right here and the cover over here so it should be easy uh, for me to show you what where we're going. You hear that? Okay, so the clicking noise is the relay, static relay. So first thing that we probably thinking it's okay, the relay is bad, right? But, and then it sounds like a battery is low, so let me show you. Let me go to the front. Okay, so I got the power probe here. So I'm gonna show the, that we got po enough power. Well, I really don't have to come all the way to the battery, but I'm gonna show you this. So if I press this button right here, it should show the voltage. So we got 12.4, that's enough. So now, to make this easy, I'm gonna get in there. So you can see, because now we know that we got enough power. <clears throat> okay from from my knowledge from uh, 01 to 05 the fuse box is going to be the same thing and the harness is going to be almost everything the same from the ignition switch all the uh in a uh, starter system or wiring it's the same it just changed the color of the wiring but it's almost the same thing so now um let me do it again you hear that right it's on like the uh, relay not I get an activate or not enough power so now from my from what i know it's um this is my main power right here the white one on this side remember 01 to 05 they should be the same all the wiring from here should be the same so this is the main source of power which is this one right here right let me click let me get this one in here you hear that so that means then I got 12 volts right there. Okay, we got power, right? Because the initial switch is on, right? So I got it off. I'm gonna put this back again in there. See, it got power. So we know that we have power getting into the uh, initial switch, right? Oh, the, the bottom part, just hit, uh, just a couple screws, two screws on the bottom and you get it out. Okay, so that's all you need to get this plastic out now the uh, the wire uh, uh, to make sure i mean we want to know if it is the relay fuse or starter or something not let it go so first in a straight test it will be get this black wire right here right and put power on this one so i'm gonna use my power pro and i'm gonna send power on the black one okay so let me let me hook this one right on it needs to go okay so it's right there on the black wire okay on the black white black white wire this wire okay i just don't want to make a hole in there so i just put them right on the con behind of the connector now what i'm gonna do oh my fingers right on okay what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna open ignition switch and i'm gonna see if it when i when i right now it's in second position Third position is when you crank it, right? You can hear that noise. And what we see right here, it's, let me, oh Jesus. Hold on guys. Let me, let me put this back in here. Oh Jesus. Uh, let me put this back over here where, so we can stay, okay, right there. Okay, so this is what happened when the, when we crank it on the uh, wire that send the signal to the relay in a starter. See, it's cut enough power, not enough, see? It shows voltage, but it's about three or four volts, which is not enough to activate the relay. Now, what I'm gonna do, it's, I'm gonna lift the ignition switch in second position. 
in a monocent power and if the whole system relay fuse starter and everything from the ignition switch back there is fine it should run right away with the, when as soon as i send power okay uh oh you hear that so that means you can hear it running okay you can hear it running so that means from this wire from this wire all the way through to the starter everything is fine now our problem it's gonna be somewhere over here so now because i like to go through deep on whatever i'm gonna remove this thing and see what's gonna happen i'm gonna remove let me shut it off okay let me remove this this connector right here i'm gonna push this thing up and then pull it let me see if I can do one hand. Okay. I push this little clip up like that. Down, like push it down and then pull the whole thing. Now I'm going to release this thing right here. Right with the um with the screwdriver. That's one. Let me get the other one over here. Uh, well, actually, it's not in there. It's just one right there. Okay, so let me let me put this thing on the stand. My camera on the stand, so we can work better over here. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna get this thing out. Okay. Now let me bring my camera down. Let's see if we can see better this thing. Yeah, we can see right here. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, let me see if I can pop this off. Mm. 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 Okay, we're going to push this black one probably out. This one. Mm. Open it. We open it up. Let me smell it. Mm, it smells like a burn or something. Okay, so now let's release the white clips right here on this side. Let me see if you can take this off. Let's do. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, we open. Uh oh. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. You can see the black spot right there. That means that I is not making good contact. Okay, so let me scratch this up. I'm gonna place the other piece right here because there's dirt right there. I don't know if you can see that part right there. Let me see if you can see that right there. Dirt right there.
Let me see if I can use the tape on this one. Okay. That's um that's better now. I'm gonna hook this back. I'm gonna just press this thing back in place. Let me see what it goes. It goes like this, I believe. So yeah. Okay. Oh no. That's right there. Now I'm going to put it back. Let me see if we can make it work or some. And put this right here. And I'm gonna put the bolt, little bolt in there. I forgot to put the plastic cover on. That's the the one in, it holds the the pins in place and then, I mean the contacts on it. Okay, right there. I think it's better. I'm going to hook this in there. Now I'm gonna crank it. I'm gonna do it again. See, now it do better. Now it turns right on. Let's see. It just takes a little while sometimes to crank on, you know, because it's not working right. Yeah, but that is that, that's the thing. It's yeah. Yeah, but sometimes it worked it, sometimes not. This time it didn't work, so we're gonna need to replace this part because it's not making good content right there. If I hook the power in here on the black on the black white wire again. Oh no. Oh hold on, let me go the key in there. Right there. Oh man, it's not enough fuel on this thing. It's low fuel, so man, I can't do that much with this thing, low fuel. But yeah, guys, so remember, so you're gonna need to replace the. I'm gonna find the name and leave it right there on the. Uh, on the description of the video or right on the corner of the video because I'm not sure what's the name of this thing and if we can get separate but this is the main thing now it won't let the start you know goes you see now it's not making no noise no more noise because it's already clean but it still probably is not it's too much space between that thing right there it won't let it let it go so we're gonna see if we can we just gonna let it like that and see if we can get. All right, guys. So, um, I got the new one already, and I'm on. Uh, this is the part number on it. it. LS1131, and that's how they call switch, and whatever you name it. <laughs> but I know it's a uh, initial starter switch. That's how they found it on the system, and it's at the auto parts, auto zone, and uh, this is the old one. So I just put it in and I just want to show you, you know, how to, I mean, it cranks right away with the new one. You hear that? So, yeah, I'm glad that we got it starting fine now, running good. So, yeah, guys, I hope that video helps, you know. Remember, don't waste your time, it's too short. And I'll see you next time. Peace.